In her body and behavior, Lucy is in most respects an ape. From her diet to her small brain and habitat. The big difference is the way she walks. And it makes all the difference in the world. Walking upright is the first piece in our evolutionary puzzle. The first step on the road to humanity. The initial ancestral change that we see in human evolution is not brain expansion. Interestingly, it's not even stone tools. The first major innovative change that you see in evolution is none of what you would expect to find with humans or humanity, but it's the ability to walk on two legs bipedally. And today, it will make the difference between Lucy surviving and not. She is on the constant search for food. And that means finding a new tree to feed in. She spends as little time on the ground as she can because she knows she is vulnerable. Lucy has no defense against leopards and saber-toothed cats except the refuge of the trees. But standing upright, she can see further than any of her ancestors. Sensing movement in the grass, she runs. Whatever it was, predator or not, has gone. But the balance of power between the predator and its prey has already started to shift. The simple act of walking upright has started an evolutionary chain reaction. It will free the hand to become a maker and user of tools. And it is tool use that will one day power the brain's growth with protein from scavenging and hunting. But it all begins here with Lucy. So, is Lucy finally the missing link? In a sense, Lucy is a missing link. But they all are missing links. Because without each step in the record, without each missing link, uh, we wouldn't have ourselves today. They're all links of how we've gone from a Lucy to a Tom child, to a Habilis, to a Homo erectus. All of these are links leading towards Homo sapiens. Having traveled back in time over three million years, we'd found a creature that seemed to begin the human line. Yet Lucy was a long way from being human. We found the common ancestor of all the things that are human. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a bit empty. What we don't, look what we don't find with Lucy. We, we, we don't find culture. We don't find the things that make us human. We don't find our humanity. Science began to look again at our most recent ancestors. 40,000 years ago, a successful, intelligent hominid species occupied Europe. Neanderthal man. Could he hold the key to how we finally became human? thousand years ago, Neanderthal hunters are on the scent of red deer in the forests of Western Europe. They've been tracking the same herd for three days. But they are opportunist hunters. And a wild pig is too tempting to resist. But they miss their first attempt and the pig disappears into the undergrowth.
the Neanderthals work out a plan to corner their prey. The ability to organize and communicate, to improvise a plan, are all advanced human skills. The question is, did they originate here with Neanderthal? Exactly how human were they? June 1996, the vaults of the Rhineland Museum, Germany. Genetic scientist Matthias Krings from Munich University is about to attempt to answer that question. Museum curator Heike Kanitsky is allowing Krings to examine the original Neanderthal bones found in 1856, the evidence that began the quest for our origins. They're wearing full body protection to avoid genetic contamination. Because Krings isn't interested in looking at the bones, he's going to look inside, at their DNA. It was always thought impossible to extract DNA from any sample older than 10,000 years. Now, they're attempting to go four times further back in time. To the age of Neanderthal. Scientists had long thought that Neanderthal was our most recent ancestor. That he became human in one last crucial evolutionary leap. If so, he should have almost identical DNA to us. In Munich, Matthias Krings has the two sets of DNA results. Neanderthal and modern man. What do you see? I see. I have no idea what I see. Between any two people, there should be an average of eight differences in the same piece of DNA. One, two, three, four. But between the human and Neanderthal samples, Krings counts nearly four times as many changes. This is something else. This is something completely different. I've never seen that before. Are you sure? Hundertprozentig. Was wir hier sehen, ist eine völlig andere Spezies. Neanderthal, it seemed, were not our ancestors after all. Evolution had produced two separate human-like species at the same time. 